Many people in northern Thailand long for the days when former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat ran the country. He was born here in Chiang Mai and his presence is still felt, despite regular visits by the military who try to remove any sign of him. We had a good life when Thaksin was around. Our business was good and we made a lot of profit, but now business is getting worse. The official reasons for the bloodless coup were to restore order after anti-government street protests and to remove a corrupt prime minister. But there was another reason, his popularity among poor rural communities whose political voices had previously been largely ignored. Thaksin Shinawat is still very popular here, but 10 years ago in the capital Bangkok, he was perceived as a threat to the established political order, including the monarchy, the military and the elite surrounding those institutions. The man who led the coup believes there were anti-monarchy elements within Thaksin's government and its supporters. But now the retired general wants the former prime minister to be able to come home and be involved in finding a peaceful way forward for Thailand. The nation's conflicts and problems can only be resolved by having people in power sit down and talk together. But some politicians are more concerned about their own interests. Thailand is under military control again after a coup in 2014 removed the government of Thaksin's sister, Ying Lakshinawat. It came at a sensitive time, with the 88-year-old king unwell in hospital. It seems there is still a lot of concern about the Shinawats being in power, particularly during the royal transition. As time went on and the Thaksin challenge kept persisting, I think that it became by 2014 that uh, this had to be dealt with and there has to be some kind of restoration. But so far there has been no attempt at reconciliation with those who oppose the army. In Taxon's hometown, his supporters want him to come home, a free man. But at the moment, there's little they can do. People love Taxon and he's in our blood. We want to fight for him, but the gun oppresses us. The army has blocked us. For now, they display their symbols of resistance and wait for an election the army says will be held late next year. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Chiang Mai, Thailand.